Hello, OUYA folks. This is Tim Grotman, and this is video is about setting up the Windows driver for OUYA and a video about it. So I have Laughing Goal here, and finally ran into a situation where you're starting from scratch. Now, first thing that you want to do is with the Android SDK installed, is you want to go and open up your Android SDK manager, and this is where we can make sure that. The uh, Google USB driver is installed. So here we go. Uh, you'll find the Google USB driver at the bottom. Okay, and in this case, it's already installed. And that basically creates a folder inside of your Google, well, inside of your Android SDK. Uh, there's an extras. Google USB driver folder. And we're going to modify that file based on the driver setup doc to add some extra entries to detect the OUYA device. So on Windows, if you've put it in the standard place, you will find the Android SDK in your program files. Okay, and then you hop into Extras, and then Google, and then USB driver. Okay, and then here's where you find the INF file that you want to modify. In your favorite editor. Okay, and then there's that Google... Okay, and you want to paste right under the Google x86 section with the OUYA console entries. And this is all from the setup document in the Windows section. So that's your first change. Now if we open up a terminal and navigate to the Android SDK tools folder, we'll be able to run a command. It's in order to create a .android subfolder in your user folder, your home directory. And this is where we modify one of the, another device detection file. That, so it can find your Android device. Okay, so we navigate to Tools, and now we type the command line Android space update space ADB. And running that command will make sure your ADB is up to date. And also, it should create that .android folder in your home directory. So here you see it was successfully updated. It recommends that you kill and restart the server. So you can kill the ADB server with ADB kill server. And then when you run ADB devices, if all the drivers are set up, it will detect any attached Android devices. Um, we still haven't done that last part yet because we have to go to the device manager and point it at that Google USB driver that we downloaded in the Android SDK extras.
So now just navigate so we can have the path to the... Oh, here we go. Just checking for is... Uh... Okay, so in, in your user directory, you should find a .android folder. And this file is auto-generated um, by the, the driver setup, I think. So you can add the entry uh, to detect the, uh, the OUYA console. Um, but when we set up the driver in a second, it's going to wipe out this change, and we'll have to make it again. But essentially, that's... That's the edit you're going to need to do. Okay, so now it's about time to go into the device manager. So if you hit your start button and you right click on computer, you can go to properties. And then device manager is there on the upper left. And we should finally see the OUYA. And it should have a, a warning here that says the drivers haven't been set up properly. And this has to do with the Google USB drivers not being signed. And so the automatic detection is not going to find it. You might be tempted to just browse to the USB driver and have it automatically find it, but we have to take the have disk approach, all because that's the signing issue. And this isn't specific to OUYA. This is uh, the Google USB driver for you know your Nexus or or in any other Google Android device. Okay, so you see, like, just going through, it's not going to find it because it's not signed. Okay, this time you want to hit Browse and uh, pick. let me pick where I want to download it from. Maybe keep that path in your clipboard. Okay, just pick All Devices. Okay, now you're going to say Have Disk. And you want to put in that path. Hit OK. And make sure you pick the ADB composite device interface. And when you hit Next, you'll see some warnings about the driver not being signed. You might install it anyways. And after it runs for a little bit, it will be connected to the OUYA, and then we are going to do that one last step of adding that hex value to your Android subfolder INF file, and then that will cause it to show up in the ADB devices. In the ADB devices. can take a little bit of time to install the driver if you're on a slower computer. Or if you're capturing with Skype. Great. All right, so it's all set up. Okay, so now you can do the, the same steps, ADB kill server, ADB devices, and it won't find anything yet, because we have to make that one change again, where we add the hex value to detect the OUYA device in ADB. Okay, so now we go to your home directory, which is C drive users, whatever your username is and you'll find a .android folder. OK, 
Okay, so navigate to your C drive, your user's directory, find your username, and you see the Android subfolder, and back into this INF file. Okay, so you can see it was auto-generated again, and you want to paste in the hexadecimal number that represents the OUYA console. There you go. And now you can run ADB kill server, ADB devices, and your device will show up. And there you go. Now you can publish to your OUYA directly through your USB cable. All right, thanks for watching.